everybody and welcome to this week's newsletter. Do you hear that noise? That's the noise of a tractor cutting fresh, beautiful, lovely, it's so bright grass. The sun is splitting the skies. I'm standing in the shade to keep my beautiful, youthful looks. And yes, Harrington picked his wild cards. Lowry, bearded rascal. Poulter, the postman. Hopefully he's not like my postman who delivers twice a month. Uh, and yes, Garcia fell out with Garcia Harrington a few years ago. So maybe they're just coming together and building those beautiful golfing bridges. But will they win? I don't know. I don't think they will. I know it's something you don't want to hear, but the American team is looking very, very strong. We're going to be doing a sweepstake in the shop, so come in and get involved. What else has been happening at the club this week? Well, Gavin has been practicing his. What is it? There you are, Gavin. That's you. That's your YouTube star, Gavin. Yeah, yeah, Gavin. Hopefully, Interpol aren't watching. Uh, they've been after Gavin for a while. Uh, we had Chris Tracy blowing the field away at the weekend with a, a remarkable. 68 scratch now Chris I don't want to take any of any of the praise from that from uh, uh, doing a retrofit in your driver the other week I don't want to I don't want to tell anybody about that so I won't um, again we have had massive compliments about the course yes the greens were slow last week guys they were slow but we did some work on them we let the grass grow a bit and your surfaces are going to be great for the next few months until Siberia arrives um, in November. That's Gavin hitting another shot. Didn't sound too good though, Gavin. I think it was out of the nose. Yes, it was out of the nose. Well, we've taken a delivery of the new tailor-made MG3 wedge. Now, these things are so smooth. So smooth. Here's a little bit about them. The tailor-made milled grind three wedge wow it's a stoter as we'd say in scotland an absolute stoter so smooth i would imagine it would slide uphill now what taylor made have done is not only made the thing look absolutely stunning what they've done is they've made men Older men become very excited when they see it. Isn't that right, David? He's laughing now. He doesn't know he's going to be the star. So, yes, they have made a beautiful looking wedge. Stunning wedge. Now, what they've also done is create a raw face. So this wee label here, that is there to stop it basically reacting to the air. When you take that off, it's going to rust, create a textured surface. Along with that, we've got little micro ribs. You can just about see them, the wee faint line. And that's going to create more spin and control around the greens. So, it really is an absolute beauty of a wedge. Again, like anything, running out faster than Mo Farah after a few beers but it is really is a thing of absolute beauty so i've had to come indoors because the tractor is making a heck of a racket and you wouldn't be able to hear my wonderful pieces of advice so this week i've been thinking about fitting and what we do that is different we do lots of things that are different but i can't remember the last time i did a fit and didn't give, have to give the player some sort of advice. So when you're getting fit, it's always important, if there is things that stand out, it's complete and utter swing faults, we have to look at them before we fit. If we don't, we're gonna give you a set of golf clubs that aren't really good for you. So we never do that. Other places might do that. They might give you a 30 minute free fitting and then charge you 990 pounds for golf clubs that you don't need or incorrect golf clubs. And as I've said before, golf clubs at the moment are mass produced. They are not getting checked when they come out of the factory. It's unpleasant to hear that, but it's true. So what's that I hear? Yes, it's a hole-in-one alert. Last couple of weeks, we've had a few hole-in-ones. 
number one. This guy at the back, Charles Lindsay, is trying to put me off, but I'm not going to let him. Uh, we had Eric Rennie with a hole in one with, yes, Eric, your new clubs. Thank you, thank you. First ever hole in one, Eric, wasn't it? Well done. And then we had Willie McLaughlin. First ever hole in one. First ever hole in one. Amazing. And I'm going to say new clubs. Don't know if he hit the new club that he got, but anyway. And next. Peter McPherson, one of the loveliest gentlemen I've ever met in my life. Oh, and what was that, Peter? Your new clubs. Gee willikers, these new clubs are doing some amount of damage out there. Well done, guys. And remember, next time I'm in the bar, you'll be buying me a drink just to say 